Hi everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to Countdown to Christmas. We're gonna open door 13 in the Crafter's Companion Advent Calendar. These, these little surprises, these little nuggets of gold that are under these doors, not literal gold, but you know what I mean. These are amazing this year and I am having a blast. I've got a challenge to make something Christmassy out of everything, which you know, everything is not Christmas, usually under these advent calendars, which is good. But I am going to do that, and I am uh, inviting you to also enter to win one. You can enter to win an amazing prize on Christmas Eve. So linked below is the December 1st video and that's where all the details are. So let's open this door. All right, guys, here we go. Door 13, door 13 is this big door here. Let's see, oh, it opens on this side. Okay, door 13. And remember, I try to make something Christmassy with everything I get, even though it's not. And I try to save my box, so. <laughs> Okay, door 13. Open up door 13. Yep. Oh my goodness. Christmassy with this. <laughs> okay, let me get it out. Okay, in the watercolor Christmas collection, which is something that I used last night, there is a paper craft die set to make elegant snow globe. And I thought, well, that would be fun. And then take this card and put it in the background um, on mirror card so it would look like snow, kind of. We'll see. We'll see if it passes. So anyway, I do have the globes. So you have a little globe that sticks out. It could actually end up being like a, I don't know, a ornament if you wanted it to. And then I'm going to have to uh, stamp this little snowman here. Uh, I could use the one from last night, too, if I wanted to. But I think we'll go with that. And um, I do have my glitter and stuff from the, uh, the advent calendar. So this is um, the snow globe kit. And so I need some paper to be the base. And I take the outline of the globe... And you can see right here, this doesn't cut. So I put that on the edge to, so it can be like an easel card. So I'll use that anyway. And the globe, of course. And so what I'm going to do, though, first is cut out a piece of this silver matte mirror card. And I'm going to run this through on it a couple of times just to kind of see how it will look and... Uh, see if we can go further with this idea. All right, I did cut out my circle. I really, really love this paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, and I'm going to have what I'm going to have to do is run it through a couple of times, maybe three times to try to get the whole thing done. And I'm just going to put a piece of paper under it just to give it a little more um, push to get it through. Um, see if that's too thick because I want to make sure it makes the indention and the emboss well. So let's try this. Oh, so that looks really pretty. So what I'm going to do, I know that it's making um, a line on there. But I think being in the back of the snow globe, it'll be okay. Okay, that looks really pretty. You can see a little bit of definition where the folder was, but I think it's gonna work out just great. So next I need to cut out my actual card. Okay, so thinking through my process here, and this is my little, um, snow globe so this is going to be glued with the embossed mirror card so we're going to glue that to the snow globe and i'm just using my kalal glue you can use tacky glue whatever you like and let's see this has got to go right through here so we're just gonna 
make sure that's in place and that can be set to dry now the other thing that i need to glue on is this globe so while i'm working on the snowman i'm going to go ahead and glue this globe um, to the back here and just put that through it well, was actually the front and we're going to put that in place and that will go like that so we want to let that also dry so we're going to set this over here out of the way I think I'm just going to glue him down and then uh, put, instead of using the um, 3D foam, because I don't really want the snow getting stuck. Uh, if that makes sense, I'll try to explain it, but um, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, he needs to really stick down. While he's doing that, we're going to take this and this and glue it down. So I'm gonna glue the white, let it snow sentiment to the silver. We're just gonna go a little bit like this. Right, then I will use the 3D foam to put it on the front here. So we'll just do this. And I'm not decorating it up too much. Let's see if we can just, just put it right here. Okay. Then I'm going to take my Oh, my snowman. Come on, we got a stick, snowman. All right, I'm gonna take some of this snow that came with it, put it inside here. Okay, so this snow came, ooh, this snow came with it. I don't think we need that much. Take a bunch out. All right. And then I have some glitter from day 10. I'm gonna sprinkle in some glitter as well. Just a little. Kind of give it that shimmer so next i want to glue the back to the front okay so we're just going to go around and and really glue this whole thing because we don't want that coming out right okay and then we're going to take this and seal it I'm pushing it to turn it over because I want to see what it looks like. And then I need a bow on the top. I'm gonna have to get a bow to put on top. Okay, ready? There he is. There's the snowman. And there is the use of the embossing folder. 
How cute is that? Oh, and I'm pushing my snowman, my let it snow up because it wasn't dry. Ah, here we go. Here we go. How cute is that, you guys? Oh, that is cute. Oh, here we go. There's the little snow globe and uh, our use of the embossing folder. You could make this into an ornament. I think it would be super cute. Just add a hanger. If you wanted to make it into a card, you could write your message on the back. How cute is that? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this craft from day 13. Let's see door 14. I've got the calendar right here. And door 14 is where? 17, 21, 15. These numbers are so hard to see. That's the only thing. 16, 14. Okay, so 14 is up here. It is this shape here. What do you think is behind door 14? Give me a good guess. If you know, don't tell us. And thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.